Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining us. So we have a pretty cool video for you today. And this, now, you can see where we're at. We're in an indoor gymnasium in this huge custom house we're working on. And what we're gonna do this video on is we're gonna do a racing strike. So we're gonna make this, this is a lot of white big walls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a racing stripe at 72 inches and we're gonna do black. It's gonna give a little bit more contour to this gym. It's gonna soften it up a little bit and it's gonna tie in the key and all that stuff. So uh, we're gonna show you how to set that line tomorrow, but uh, stay tuned. We're gonna show you how we're gonna set our line and get really crisp and clean. All right, thanks. Hard work, work. Hard work. That's what they say. Hard work, work, hard work. I earn my pay. Hard work, work, hard work. Do it every day. Hard work, I work. get up about a quarter to three. Hard work, work. Got to go and earn my pay. Hard work, work. Put my boots on and lace them up. Hard work, work. Got another day to work. Hard work, work. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, welcome back. We have sanded down all the walls, and what we're going to do now is we're going to be setting our line. Now, this is the most important. You guys can do this for accent walls at home. This is just a little bit of a, a bigger scale to do it, but the idea is the same. You mark your line. We're using a laser, not a 360 laser. Those are too expensive, so we're just using these. And as you can see, we have our laser line right there. And you guys could get these for, I think, like 60 bucks if you want these. Or there's the old school way to do it, and I'll show you how to do that too. So you can see Jose is going around the room. Obviously, the most important part of getting a razor crisp line when we're doing this racing stripe around this gym, and we're putting stickers. Kind of like if you guys watched our epoxy videos of how to get a perfect line uh, while doing an epoxy line. So what we're doing now is we're putting stickers. These are our guide rails for where we set our masking. Okay, now another important thing, is it, can you hold that for a sec? So see, he's putting it right on the top of the line. Hold this real quick. Now, another way to do this, of course, would be the old fashioned way. Obviously this floor is level, we've already tested it. And our line is coming from this top rail of this color window. So we should be 72 and a half all the way around. See where our tape is? So for you guys at home, you would just walk around and you'd mark it. We're 72 and 2 sixteenths. So we're going to walk around before we go and set this line. We're double checking it so we're still level there. Now we come to this wall and I'm pushing it into the cove base because this is a free floating floor. So we're true there. And now the big test when we come into the corner because that's where straight lines are gonna get given away when you're not straight. 17 and three. So there it is right there. 72 and basically two eighths over 72 and a half. So same thing, you always just wanna mark it. Looks like we're getting a little high here. So we're gonna to have to adjust this line. We're gonna flip over. Uh, we're gonna flip over the laser, all right? So make sure you always wanna, you know, it's like a carpenter. You always wanna check twice, cut once. That's exactly what we're doing. So we're gonna use the old fashioned way mixed with a laser. For all you people that don't have a laser at home, don't feel bad, you can just do it this old fashioned way. You find, hopefully you have level ground if you're working on, whether you go from the ceiling or whether you go from the base. And we're gonna go around and put little stickers like Jose did. You see these? These are our true lines to make sure we're going in the right direction. And we're gonna put stickers around this entire gym. And as we do that, you will see us start setting the line around the entire gym. Now this could be in a bedroom or a garage or whatever it is. It's the same way to do it. So we're going to use a little bit of the laser and a little bit of the and a little bit of the tape and make sure we're at 72 and a half all the way around. We'll set our line and we'll key you the next time. Okay, welcome back. So here we are. So we kind of fought the laser and we fought the uh, we fought the measuring tape and all that stuff. So luckily. Being on a job site like this, we have a carpenter friend of ours that had a 360 Bosch laser. 
So that really helped out a lot. So as you can see, Jose's been going around. We got our laser lights set. And now we're just finishing up. You always want to, you know, we have patches and stuff because this is new construction. So while we do it, we're sanding all of those. Now, since we're gonna do a black racing stripe in this one, you might wanna do this like as an accent wall in a house, like in a kid's room or a game room or something. We are actually gonna go ahead and spray these outlets. I just spoke to uh, uh, the last house we did, we did it as well. I just spoke to the electrician as well. So we're just gonna wipe these down with some denatured alcohol and we're actually gonna shoot that plate. I know that goes, that goes against everything us painters do, but obviously the customer was here last night and doesn't want a jet black racing stripe and a bunch of white outlets all over this gym. So what we've decided to do is we're gonna treat them with denatured alcohol and we're gonna just shoot everything in once. So we have a lot of patches on these walls. Uh, a lot of people went in here. So you can see how sensitive this laser line is. You can see Jose did a great job. We're staying true because we realized Code base off the floor and everything, not everything is the same exact size and it's not all level all the time. You'll have that in your house too. Your baseboard might not be the same, so some guys measure from the ceiling, some guys measure from the base. Luckily, we have one of our friends here today with a laser line, so we got a good amount of help. So we're gonna have a nice sharp line right here. We're shading down and we're doing everything, all these little imperfections we saw. We're gonna be doing this now. And what we're gonna do is, since we're doing onyx black, obviously we're not gonna try to cover this thing in one coat. So what we're gonna do is in about five, 10 minutes, uh, Jose is gonna drape some plastic up from this line. We're gonna do a really quick tack coat, kind of an ugly coat. And by the time I get done doing that, in that corner, it's warm enough in here to be dry. And then we're gonna come right back behind it to do the really nice, pretty coat. And then we're gonna pull our yellow line while it's wet. Today we're using frog tape. We're gonna take a little bit of a damp rag and right before we shoot, we're gonna wipe a damp rag. That'll activate this moisture lock in this tape. It's kind of built for that. The paint will do it too. We're gonna to take a very damp rag, a very lightly damp rag, and we're gonna really push in our tape. And when I come up and spray this, we're gonna lay it off in that line. So as soon as we're done with that, we're gonna pull it. All right, so we'll tune in when we're starting to shoot. Quite a bear because that frog tape did not want to stick on these painted walls. And they had been sanded, so anywhere in the corner we had uh, sagging on, so it took us a little bit longer. Uh, but we're here to our moment of truth. We got our laser line, and we're going to drop our sticky coat right now. And a major reason being for that, as you can see, around all these outlets, you can see all of these patches that have been done. So, kind of the two reasons we're doing this sticky coat is to get over all this hot mud and all of the patches. If you come from this area, you can kind of see there's patches everywhere. Plus, we're going to do a onyx black on this. So, uh, we're just going to do a sticky coat, get everything coated, turn it black, and make this thing beautiful. All right?
getting our sticky coat because it's really ugly and we'll save a couple that are really the nice shots. So we're gonna continue getting our sticky coat on. We'll be back in about five minutes when this stuff is dry. You can see, follow me over here real quick, Jose. The reason why we're doing this, and I know it, I know it may seem crazy to some people, but you go up to this, it's already dry. So what we're doing is we're kind of prime sealing all of these patches. It's a great way to see it right here. I mean, I couldn't have actually imagined a better way to see why we do this. Especially if you get down there and look at the glare wall of it. If we went any heavier with an ultra deep base, it would never dry and we'd be here all night. By doing this, we're sealing all of our patches. And at the same time, we're giving ourselves a chance to do two coats within not too long of a period of time. So we're gonna continue doing this. We'll check back in on the final. Okay, so here we are. You can see our sticky coat is all done. It's been probably, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or so. It's all nice and dry. You can see where all our hot mud patches were. And so here we go. We got our color in here. We still got our line holding tight. And uh, now we're gonna do our real coat. You can see this is, this is just kind of like our prep coat. That's kind of the chalice where all the patches were, seal everything up. And uh, yeah, look at that. That's our finished corner. And we're gonna get to it. Jose's gonna guide you through this.
You always pull like this. You always have to pull it while it's wet. Oh, look at that. That looks like money. Look at how beautiful that line is. Now it's, it's really tricky to do this. I'm gonna have to help Jose. Oh, look at that line pull. You need another hand, brother? That stair is going to be tricky. Hard work, hard work. Hard work, hard work. Hard work, work, hard work, work. Hard work, work. Hard work, work. Hard work, that's what they say. Hard work, hard work. I earn my pay. Hard work, hard work. Do it every day. All right, everybody. So it pays to do the proper prep and take the time to get that line. I don't think we could get much cleaner than that. I mean, look at that. From pure white to onyx black. And that is a jet straight line. Even in our corners. The corners are always where you have problems. But that is exactly what we were going for. Oh, thank goodness we got that. We've been stressing about that all day. So hopefully we keep that good pull alive. Jose's gonna keep working. I'm gonna have to get back with you guys in a minute because when we come to this pull, we need uh, two hands. And there's only him and I. Look at that line. Yes. Yes. Pretty crisp, if you ask me. Look at that. Alright, so just, you know, we, we did use the yellow frog tape. This is the ultra thin, so it doesn't like sticking, so we fought it a little bit in the corners. But you can see why we dealt with it. I have to say, and this is a Sun Valley texture. Look at how razor sharp that line is right there. I mean, look at how that looks. I'll back up so you guys can kind of see the scope of all this. Now, how much cooler is this gym gonna be with that onyx key and then a 72 and a half inch racing stripe? That just looks amazing. All right, we're gonna keep going. All right, everybody, we're back. So as you can see, we are on our last beautiful, crispy line. Look at that, wait, wait, wait. All right, last line of the day. Oh, and it's perfect too. So, we'll show you what we did. Now that it's the end of this video, not too bad for just Jose and I. I mean, look at those lines. So, anyways, we appreciate you guys sitting through this video, and I hope to ever, I hope we can kind of help people out when they go to do some racing stripes or accent walls in their in their rooms or their kids' rooms. I mean, this is pretty sweet. You can see how this one turned out. 
not too shabby. I mean, when you take the time, you do it right, spackle all the imperfections, I mean, this is going to be one happy customer. That really gave this indoor gym just a little extra, a little extra oomph to it. You know what I mean? And you can't really get any tighter lines than that. And it goes the whole way around. So we're drying up. We're going to finish up working. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps somebody out there. We've done a lot of these and we're kind of trying to teach you guys our secrets. So stay tuned. We appreciate all the support for Paint Boss. Jose, say goodnight. Sun's almost down. We're almost ready to go. And I'll give you one final look at how beautiful those lines look. I kept that line all perfect. See that? Now this is a gem. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you so much for coming along. I know this was kind of a longer video, so hopefully my wife can edit it a little bit so it's not too crazy. But hopefully you all learned something. That's how we do our lines. That's how we take the time to make sure we get a super sharp one like that. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. Hit that subscribe button and let us know what you want to see us work on next. We kind of do everything all day, every day. So let us know what you guys want some pointers on. All right? Thank you so much for the support. We'll see you next time.